Keep watching Charis TV. Let's open the book of Judges. Chapter 16. It's what we know. But I want to share with you. Uh, I just want to prepare you for what is coming. How many of you have missed the church? Lift up your hands. Were you dancing a lot today? Yeah, I can see. And how many of you were waiting for today to, uh, to come to church? Okay, God bless you. Uh, let's read from verse 1. Uh, Judges chapter 16 verse 1 it says then Samson went to Gaza and saw a prostitute there and went in into her the Gazans were told Samson has come here so they surrounded the place and waited all night at the gate of the city to ambush him. They kept quiet all night, saying, in the morning, when it is light, we will kill him. Amen. But Samson lay resting until midnight. Then at midnight, he got up and took hold of the doors of the city gate and the two doorposts and pulled them up, security bar and all, he put them on his shoulder and carried them up to the top of the hill, which is opposite Hebron. And after this, he fell in love with a woman, the Philistine woman, living in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. So the five laws governors of the Philistine came to her and said to her, persuade him and see where his great strength lies and find how we may overpower him so that we may bind him to subdue him. And each of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today, I want us to look at the message I once preached long time ago, which is going to be very meaningful now. And then today, I'm also very happy when I see Prophet Chapi and his wife here. You can stand from Lesotho. So, I believe this message will be meaningful also to you. I want to tell you that uh, only 2% in the world they went through what Samson went through. They went through. I don't know what will happen when 60% in this world because from now on to forward 60%, 60% of people they are going to face betrayers just write betrayer 60% from all those years until now, we have not made even 5%. But it's going to go up to extend that. 60% are will be having this betrayal. In other words, like what happened to Samson. Satan didn't know what to do with him. 
the worst part of Samson was he was not married. So you could not catch Samson from his wife. He just go around and find a prostitute. And remember that when you go to a prostitute, you don't negotiate. This, the Bible is telling us there was nobody close to Samson. It's after he met Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines who are the enemies of the Israelites. They began to negotiate how they can put Samson down. There is something that I want us to read and also we look at it in our lives. When we are approaching the time of discouragement, when you will be approaching the time where you will even ask yourself, are you still a Christian? It will be the time that when you are holding, you will be surprised God is blessing you. When there will be all these betrayals, you, God will be blessing you. Look at this verse 5. This verse 5 is your verse. Verse 5 is verse Alina. So the five laws governors of the Philistines came to her and said, Persuade him. See where his great strength lies. Find out how we may overpower him so that we subdue him we will be able to bind him. So where lies your strength? Ask your neighbor, where lies your strength? Listen to this. If you are not connected with anybody, no one will know that. There is nobody that will betray you until he comes close to you to find your strength. In other words, betrayal is there to weaken your strength. And to render you normal. Therefore, you are intimidating. The, where you are, you are moving forward. Some of you, you might not be aware like Samson. It happens in the night that the trap is in the morning. And whereby certain says, in the morning we'll kill that person. But in the midnight when the enemy is slumbering, and you find that God is giving you strength to conquer. The battles from God will make you to conquer your enemies by the time they are not expected. Devil will always set a trap against you. He will use people to expose you in the morning. But this year, they will see you in power. So don't fear betrayers. So betrayers, I don't know, I don't know what will happen, but I will tell you. I will tell you that is coming your way. Thank God I was betrayed. I know the pain of being betrayed. And then you must be ready for the pain. Because that pain of betrayal it matures you to but be what God wants you to be. If you want to be something before God, allow, allow that pain to enter your heart. And see what God will do for you. There will be no gate that is going to stop you. Where lies your 
lies your strength? Ask your neighbor, where lies your strength? That's where Satan wants to win. And he have to use people around you. If you read Psalm 41, I want us to go there. Psalm 41. Ask your neighbor, are you not going to be Look at someone, look at your bedside. Can you just read from verse 1? It says, Blessed by the God's grace and compassion is he who consider the helpless. Amen. The Lord will save him Amen. in the day of trouble. trouble. And the Lord will protect him and keep him alive. Amen. And the Lord will protect him. I just want to say it again. The Lord will protect him and keep him alive and he will be called blessed in the land. You do not hand him over to the desire of his enemies. Amen. The Lord will sustain and strengthen him on his sickbed and in his illness you will restore him to health. Amen. Can you read verse 4, Mama? 4. Yes. It says, as for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Five. My enemies speak evil of me, saying, when will he die and his name perish? And when one comes to see me, he speaks empty words, while his heart gathers malicious gossip. Against me, when he goes away, he tell is, tells it everywhere. All who hate me whisper together about me. Against me, they devise my head, imagining the worst for me, saying, A wicked thing is poured out upon him and holds him. And when he lies down, he will not rise up again. Listen to this. This is your message. What is about to happen is the Lord will be visible as your helper. The Lord is about to fight your battle. I don't know what will happen because many people who are coming close to you you will think they are coming because they love. But deep down, they are gathering what they will speak against you. You are going to find out about that. And you will be called blessed. When he goes away, he speaks empty words. Don't forget the Lord is your helper. The Lord is going to fight your battles. The enemies and those who are close to you. They have their own expectation against you. They wish you to die. They wish you to fall. They say your falling is not yet over. So these are betrayers because they come to you and gather a gossip about you. You must be also careful of what you say. You know, when I'm speaking this, yesterday I was showing Mama a message. You can't believe I got a message from a lady in India. You know, the moment when you speak with me on the phone, I know. I know that all oh, this is a plan. This is a plan of my downfall. I began to show Mama, I said, I said this lady to send me a picture. Because she says she knows me. And she's telling me something from Nigeria. I said, Nigeria, I went for a long time. Nigeria, I went for a long time. 
and she began to say I've got a demon she need prayers. Ah yo no ngare au wa ke na le demon ke no thoka thapela. I was my brother I was showing him also. Na ke bontsha boti ya ka le yena ke bontsha bola eta. Mara ka tsibo re nyoko di alang. Because there are many people have to come close to you but get that ring things. Ka ora ora ne ba bantsha ba totang ga o se ba khobokanya dilo. And they are going to turn it against you. E ne ba to di thanusa ga thonong le wena. Tarnish your name. O re ba sinye le ditjo la ga o ba sinye le sie mosagao. They have to come to you. Ba tsontsho ta wena. Listen. Tlejo. People from the family will also do that. Ba tsho ba la peng le bona ba ta di ya jwalo. People you love most they will also do. Ba tsho ba o rata ta rata nka kudu le bona ba ta di ya jwalo. Just be ready for the pain. E tukishe tshe mutuku bo bo jwalo. Because after that pain. Ka bana ka mra wa mutuku bo. You will be more than a conqueror. Ke gona o ta fita ba ba hlotseng. I want you to see this verse that is going to happen to you. Ke nyoko le le verse 6 seta ta idea la mo lena. Verse 6 is important for you. Verse 6 se kita ba e botokwa tokwa go lena. When one comes to see me. Oh ba ba we ba ita go mpona. He speaks empty ways. Ba bolela mantsha sa boleleng silo. In other words they say they love you. Ba re ba bolela ba re ke re ya urata. They say hey, you are becoming fat when you are becoming thin. Ba re a wa wa nona matjatsi a ganthe o bona la o se le mosesane. People have got ability to speak what they cannot. Ba tshwa na le bogone ba bolela di nto tshe ba sa boleleng tshona. Let me see that verse again. E re ke ba leng verse la hape. It says and when when one comes to see me. E a tla go nthola. He speaks empty ways. Wa e gakantsha. I'm pray that God will give you. Ke ra pela Discerning spirit. Ali femo ya wao kono lekula. To listen to the ways you are hearing. Or little teacher mancha le ato au. Because those ways will be coming to penetrate. Kwa wani mancha ita ata uzenelela. So that you reveal what you don't want to tell. Or little nalin chang pepe nene ngintoche ni sana kumundi bolela. While his heart gathers malicious gossip. Kamo pilu yaga wina iko ba di chila. Against me. Chia nyango ngundi bolela katano liwe na. Someone is speaking with you. Mucho mungo bolela shana liwe na. To gather gossip. Ore ata go ba kanye di taba ga tonong le wena. Ore ata go no bule di shana hele ba bangwe. We are going to face something like that. Le nna re to kopana le ntwe jwalo. Na ke tsebo In Isaiah 33 verse 1. Mola go siye sanya 33 verse 1. Just read that verse 1. Are ba leng mola verse 1. It says what mama? Isaiah 33 verse 1. Verse 1. Wo meaning judgment is coming to you o destroyer you who were not destroyed and he who is treacherous while others did not deal treacherously with him as soon as you finish destroying you will be destroyed as soon as you stop dealing treacherously others will deal treacherously with you it was difficult for the assyrians They have to use treachery ways. Now, the prophet began to prophesy. That you who use all those ways. When you finish destroying the Jews. The people of God. Even you you'll be destroyed. You see I told you that God is the one who's going to fight for you. Allow these people to destroy you. And they will be destroyed. You cannot overcome a person you are betraying. You won't live longer to the person you are you are destroying. You won't be able to be You won't be able to be sustained when you destroy someone. O kas kono uye mishwa. I want to destroy. Wati sha we na uye kile muto mwa mufedi sha. The ability of them of carrying the pain you cause. You won't have that ability. Na ba ruale mtu kubo we na uba dirlo uba feeling bona uta bali bona. Listen to this. I'm just warning you. The moment when you are betrayed, can you rejoice because the blessing is around the corner? Rejoice because God is about to do something. You might be betrayed in your work, in your house, in your family, but He's telling you a blessing that is on your road. I see God blessing someone today. As I said. Yes, I am you. God, see, Baba, show me what you're doing. After you finish destroying them, you'll be destroyed too. Many people are 
people are going to be trapped by the traps that they are putting on Baba others. When you are beginning to say you are on the right track, ah, when you are trying to deal with another person, you will be surprised even yourself, someone is showing you are not on the right track. So I want to tell you that you as a child of God, so, the treachery ways are coming to you. The devil want to make sure that you are down. Because we are in a year of bearing fruits. Maintain those fruits. When you pray, you will see results. I'm sick Christians in Charis that are about to shock people this year. After someone has betrayed you, when he says it's over with you, you'll be surprised you are the one who's rising again to the level where devil never thought you can be. I'm here to tell you that nobody will be able to put you down. I want to prophesy nobody will ever, ever put you down. You'll be surprised you'll be shining to a level where your God will be praised in your family. Woo to those who betray you. Woo to those who betray you. You know what is going to happen? Let me show you what is going to happen. Let me get five people. Five people here. People. 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 This is what is going to happen. Because... <laughs> Make a second. Make a second. Can you see? Don't touch each other. Let's cut one. Go. I mean, we're still in Corona. Can you see these people? Amen. Can you point this one? Supang Papa. Point that one. Can you see what is happening to them? Can you see these people? This one. When is betray this one? That one will betray him. Oh, and here there will be issue of killing each other. Very soon, you will hear killing each other. Very soon, can you see what is happening here? Very soon. So if this one, ah can be taken down. Are we going to blame this one? 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 Blame this one? Blame this one? So, for you to put down this one, you might be putting yourself down for it. Go and sit down. It's what God is bringing a judgment like that. I want to show you from verses that I want to read. And I want to show you where, where is this thing come from. So that you'll be ready. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 verse Matthew 24. Nine. Sorry, mama. Verse 9. Verse 9. Yes. This is the last days. So we are going to see something. Sorry, like. Matthew 24 verse 9. Then they will hand you over to endure tribulation and will put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of my name. Carry on. Turn. At that time, many will be offended and repelled by their association with me and will fall away from the one whom they should trust and will betray one another, handing over believers to their persecutors and will hate one another. Many false prophets will appear and mislead many. Let's stop there. I want to tell you that this morning Can you call what after God told me this, this message, you can ask my wife, will tell you. I will say, God, I don't want to preach what is happening. I will preach it one day. And then 
I told mama, mama, can you go and preach today? Karo mama, sipila yore ra lechon. Because I felt many people won't understand what God is telling. Karo ne kuku shalu thalo anyor but papa ngata baka squishishi. And then I told mama, I said I fell to sleep. Karo mama ne kipalu ra lekabu roko. Mama saw that the whole night I couldn't sleep. Mama babu ne bushuka muka kipalu chikuru bal. And then I said this. When it happens, it's going to shame many of us. And many of us will leave Christianity in a very painful I said, Mama, can you preach about faith? Because God is telling me to preach about this. I don't think we are ready for this. And what I was supposed to be coming to tell you today is, is Mama is going to preach. Because many of you, 5% of you, you are already polluted. But the small thing, what about this that is coming out? What about this that is coming to deal with you personally? This scripture we are reading here, this will come to you direct. No stories you are hearing from Facebook. Read that verse again, Mama. Listen to them. It's what is coming to you. Okay? Nine. Verse 9. Then... They will hand you over to endure tribulation and will put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of my name. The moment you say in the name of Jesus, people will hate you. Already it's happening in your family you don't know. Others are questioning you, why are you still coming to church? Can you just read verse 10? Verse 10. Uh -huh. At that time, many will be offended and repelled by their association with me. And will fall away from the one whom they should trust. And will betray one another. Handing over believers to their persecutors. And will hate one another. Hatred is coming your way. It has already started. You won't escape it. How are you going to love people who hate you? Because people here, they will... Hand you over to the persecutors. People here have to fight you. When you say the name of Jesus, they say what? Why are you still calling the name of Jesus? You don't call the name of Jesus here. You talk about charis. What is charis for you? There is, is going to be issues of being offended. Listen to this. In betrayal, you will overcome it if you are not offended. If you want to overcome betrayal, do not be offended. Because what the devil wants to do is to offend you. Once you are offended, you are sin against God. You are not different with the offender. What the devil wants to do is just to paint Christians. That they are not worthy to enter heaven. I don't know if you hear me. This is the time that this thing of being offensive. Must you take it away. I don't know if you hear me. Whatever you hear against you, whatever you hear people speaking against you, it might be in the family, friends, take it away. Listen, when the Bible talks about association with Christ, it's not talking about you won't come to church. Your Christianity will be affected. Your fellowship with Christ will be affected. This is the time that you establish your fellowship with Christ. I don't know if you are hearing. 
establish your fellowship with Christ. Because what the devil wants to do is to paint you that you are not different with the offender. You are not different with the offender. When I was reading this, I asked God, why, why are we supposed to be offended? If we know that there is something good that is, that is coming our way. I want to be a prophet today by telling you this. When you live here, you will be offended. You'll be surprised even the people you trust will be exposed And they will fight you. And they will prove you wrong. And from there, they will stand just to come close to you to hurt your feelings. Let me try to tell you what happened to me one time. You know, this thing happened to Jesus, but it happened to me. There was one man I love most. I won't mention his name, but I want to One day, I spoke with him. I said, Can you imagine what I did? I spoke with him. I said, Can you imagine I'm very worried you're no longer coming to church. And he said, uh, I mean, it's a person who used to listen to me very well. You won't know the person, but I'll And you won't even suspect he did it. And uh, he was very angry. And he said, I won't even suspect he did it. And he said, I won't even suspect he did it. And he said, I won't even suspect he did it. From there, that brother said, No, it's because I don't have money for transport. I said, but I'm giving you a lot of money. And I have not stopped giving. And from there, he said, truly that money is doing nothing. I knew when I was asking that he was busy betraying me. I said, I'm not busy betraying you. I was busy betraying you. Because there are stages in betraying you. I said, I'm not busy betraying you. The last stage is when you are betrayed. And you are dealing with the person who thinks you don't even know. Have you ever find that you are dealing with a person who is betraying you? And you know that is the last stage of betrayal. The first stage is when you just find out. When you just find out. And the second thing is when you are told. And you investigate by yourself. And find out. But the last thing is when God revealed that to you. And you end up knowing this thing is happening. I was in the last stage with this. I never told my wife. She doesn't know. I called the person. Can we meet in Pretoria? I want to give you money. I want you to be in the church. For the sake of your Christian life. And your position in the Lord. The man came and collected the money. By the following week. He was starting his own church. I knew that it was the money I gave. That he started church with. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? People will think that they will have to use whatever you are having to climb their ladder where else is the devil. Because the devil is searching where he can hurt you most. It's where your strength lies. Don't be devastated. Strengthen yourself. I will carry on doing what I'm doing. I don't know if you're hearing me. This is the time that when you are devastated, you rise up and say, God, you are my helper. You are still going to fight for me. And I will overcome. No one will put me down. Can I tell you today, even today, even he is still down. He is still down. 
I mean, even pray for him. Even like Nakia Marapelel. I say, God, I know. I didn't know where my strength lies. He thought my strength lies in a group. Na na, or Naki is a day level two. It lies on you. I say, what is it? I can't wait. When you want to overcome, I don't know. I go shula. In being betrayed. Ah, when I will get not drunk, I will get. I want to overcome betrayal. Ah, when I will not go shula. Take away your strength. Level Lord, mata how are we to guy? It lies in God. I want to tell you if they catch your strength your prosperity your love they won't be able to defeat you because the army is coming your way but you will be exposed in front of your eyes and you will overcome them in the name of Jesus when you see that increase prayer increase your devotion increase your when you see yourself reaching there the God of mercy will see you through I see God see you through in the name of Jesus Satan want to come and follow Satan you until you enter a door where he cannot open. He's following you. When you open, he come and open and enter. He will follow you to church. I can give you an example by Judas. Why Judas followed Jesus then? Why he followed Jesus? Why Jesus? He knew that Jesus, he that Jesus will be alone with disciples. He could not attack him in public. But he wants to follow him where? Where is him and God? Your betrayers will follow you. But they won't stop you. And they won't block you. They will be seeing that your God is with your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what God wants to do. To fight your battles. That's what God was telling me. Are they going to understand? Because of what they are hearing everywhere. Betraying has not even started. You are not yet dead. You have never heard about someone dying. Very soon you are about to hear. Very soon when you hear. Many of you are going to shake. Many of you are going to shake. Many of you are Many of you are going to say what is this? Some of you will stay home. But those who endure, they will be saved. They will be blessed. They will conquer. In the name of Jesus. Those who endure, any tribulation, any suffering, God will take them forward. In the name of Jesus. I have not started. I want to tell you from the scripture. In fact, God told me that I must prophesy you when but I'm telling you this. To receive strength. For so some of you, you have seen. Yeah. Yeah. It's only 3% here. 3% here. But think about when we have got 60% in the church. Betrayed in marriage. Betrayed in your way. Betrayed in the people you lift. Betrayed, betrayed and betrayer. Betrayed. If you stand your grounds, those who betray you, they will come and ask forgiveness. I said they are about to come. Watch them. There's a problem that is happening. I was telling Mama this thing. I said, Mama, Mama, why everybody who fight us? Why to have problems. So yesterday when we play soccer, I tried to bring a case. <laughs> who was marking me a lot? Very soon. I say, ah, no, me when I curse, someone is cursed. Let me curse him. So that he must not get football. I turn around <laughs> People were laughing, but I was turning around. But my curse could not work. Listen to this. You don't need to curse anyone. You don't need to curse anyone. 
you will be surprised God will you bless them when they curse you they are when they bless you they are blessed let's read Matthew 10 I will give you some scriptures from verse 2 verse 2 Matthew 10 verse 2 Matthew 10 verse 2 Matthew 10 verse 2 therefore the one who confesses and acknowledges me before men as Lord and Savior, affirming a state of oneness, of oneness with me, that one I will also confess and acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But the one who denies and rejects me before men, that one I will also deny and reject before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to bring peace on the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword of division between belief and unbelief. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against a mother, and a daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be the members of his own household. When one believes and another does not. I want us to, this is a scripture of your day. Of Killing one year. Lali na lali na as. The man's enemies. Manaba mutu. This time will be the enemy of you. Your brothers and sisters are going to be your enemy. Jesus says, I didn't come so that you, you will have unity. I didn't come so that you will celebrate together. I will come so that you betray each other. Because those who will betray you, they will be questioning, why are you prospering better than us? Why are you becoming better than us? Think about if this will happen to your family, what about people outside? Think about if people are saying they don't want to in your family, nah, what nah. about people outside? But Do you know that there is something that I don't know, we don't even learn it. We always grow up eating from the one plate. But when we start to be matured, we build up ideologies that, that push each other to different places. When you start to love Christ and prosper in the Lord, expect, expect your brother to fight. There will be issues of witchcraft, fighting one another. another one saying, You'll be surprised you have seen some character you have never seen. Some of you here, you are no longer together in the family. Always, this is what Christ said. Yes, come for. Don't be surprised. Don't be offended. Don't stand your grounds when you see something. Don't hate, just love. Pray for them. It's what Christ said it will happen. Do you know that Satan will never tempt you by the people you love You have to use people you love most. These people that you are born with, they are coming your way. Because you, you want to rise up above them. And the devil will never accept that. You will fight because of that. This is betrayal that is coming. It will come that. from your family. I'm seeing some people here already they've been betrayed. And they are asking themselves what to do. Can you just stand your ground? And be a Christian again. Be a Christian. The moment when you see betrayal, when you see it, mother in law, daughter in law. Brothers, brothers, sisters, If you're a child of Abraham, you don't need your family. Where God is taking you, 
You don't need your family where God is taking you. The family will be a stumbling block. The devil can use the family because you love them. Many people when they come to church, they have loved us so much. But people came close to them and gave them a wrong spirit. The trial is found in the church. It's found in your work. It's found in the family. It's found everywhere. everywhere. Can you remove anybody out of your heart and begin to love everyone? Let me give you a prophecy that will happen happen to you. Check your life when people are beginning to hurt you. Beginning to fight you. The prophecy is this one. God will open doors for you. That will be different from everybody in your family. God will never allow you to have like because you will never allow you to depend on them. This year you'll be surprised when you are removing all of them out of your heart. You will never have lack. You won't have lack because God will never allow you to I don't know if you are hearing me. God will never allow you to fall from that grace. He will lift you to a higher level. Sometimes we ask ourselves why my wife can betray me. Why my husband can betray me. This is scriptural. You are not born with them. If you are a Christian, hold your Christianity. If God is not speaking with you, you will speak with them. I don't know if you are hearing me. Many me. of you, when you came here, you didn't have friends. But they have affected you negatively. Because you love friendship, you hate others who stand with your friends. And you are betraying each other. Hating each other. You stand in groups. And the Spirit of God cannot work in your life. This is the time today you look at your character. You look at which one do you hate. You also look where is your strength lies. Where Satan is searching Satan for you. Is where you say you are standing. When I, when I was reading this verse. I began to realize that many of us. We don't know that we are betrayed. And I want to tell you. God is going to expose all betrayers. So that you will forward in your life. God is going to expose all the to, So that you move forward in your uh, life. I was speaking with my mom. telling you. Out of my experiences. I was, I was told that you won't understand me now. But soon. You are going to understand. This is going to be a pain. I was speaking with my mama. Says, hey. She said to me, your focus is important. I, was I said, someone sent me something about about me. Someone was prophesying. I about me. Someone was prophesying. I about me. Someone was prophesying. And it's on YouTube. People are questioning. God show me this man called Apostle Mutu Shuri Modi Mum Punchem Mumka Mutu Shubaraki Apostle J B. He says that man is a man from God. And I said, ah, no, me when you say I'm a man of God or no, I know myself. Nale Ukariki Mutanka Mudu. What do you say? What do you say? Where where must I establish? Ya no nabuzi would say kiti shekai. My surrounding. I must be careful of people who are close to me. I say, Mama, there is nobody close to me. Nobody is close to me. I'm I said, nobody has been close to me. I said, nobody has been close to me. I said, 
The person that is close to me is Dr. Tlongwane. Kare mo thaleng ga o fele nnae ke Dr. Tlongwane. Because we talk, we normally talk. Ka le bakala hore re ya bolela. And we talk and we laugh. Ene re tabare bolela re ntshi re tshe. I say now another one is Baba Gama now. O mongwe ja no ngi ntate Gama. But all along I don't have a friend. Mara me thae o to a khala ke na mogotse. But that does not mean that I won't meet Betrayas. Mara taba ya e bolela hore ba ke ba ka sebe gona. You, when I'm speaking here, you are asking yourself, but I don't have anybody. I I go, that does not mean you won't have betrayal. God will allow that betrayal to come to you. To prove that you cannot overcome by your power. It's God who will allow it. Betrayals are coming your way. Ba hupi shibaye tazirengi alina. Am professor, professors are coming your way. Ki abole la kere ba hupi shibaye ita. And God is opening doors for you. Ene mudi muta le bolela mabati. I see God opening doors. Ki bone mudi ma, bona mudi ma le bolela mabati. I see, I see God opening doors. Kiri ki bona mudi ma le bolela mabati. You'll be surprised. You'll be hurt. Ota makala uto hupi uto kwabuto. This week, but next week, you'll be testimony. You'll be surprised. People will hurt you this week. Ota makala watu watu kuisha watu kubeke. But next week, mara beke latela. Some people will be celebrating. Watu wangu na bata bata bau tabela. God told me I must come and tell you that message. Mo jemo bara iki te kile bocheta ba yona yeo. Expect to receive that pain. Kile lebele lebele cho ukwabu thoku bona bo. Take that pain. Chiang bu thoku bo. When they hurt you. Ha upi lebu thoku bo kuisha bu thoku. Take that pain. Chiabu thoku bo. When they fight you. Ha ba lo na lebe. Take that pain. Chiabu thoku bo. When they gossip you. Ha ba usse. Take that pain. Chiabu thoku mo neishu. But don't even respond. Ma ba usika araba. Just love them. Sparate fell. And allow your Christianity to stand. Do me love the police. So yaga oye meti. You follow God. Washala mo di mo mrao. And God will never. I said God will never leave you. Ask somebody very close. Is there anybody who's betrayed you? This is your message. This is your message. Ask your neighbor. I feel I want to stop this message. Because I don't want to continue. I want to stop this. Ask your neighbor. Is there anybody betraying you? And how are you feeling? You are not different with the betrayer. If you respond negatively. You are not different with the betrayer. Don't leave your fellowship with Christ. By the character of people. Don't leave. Your husband is about to betray you. Your wife is about to betray you. Your children, they are about to betray you. Your family, they are about to betray you. Your Christian brothers and sisters, they are about to betray you. You won't run away. It's coming your way. Many of you, you'll be surprised that you are staying with a wife here. And she is betraying you. You are staying with her husband here. And she is betraying you. Listen, it's a temptation for you. Be ready to forgive. Be ready to forgive. I pray that you will make it. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Many people who have been betrayed. So, close your Bible and uh, I want to start praying with people, like I said, this week. And uh, I want to pray with people, like I said, this week. I want to pray person who has been betrayed. Let's hear, let's hear, can you run forward if you are going to be betrayed? Run forward. I'm still standing here. Let's hear with the mouth. Uh, yes. If you feel you have been betrayed. Uh, uh, listen, listen to this. Another one is this side. Yes. I want you to, to hear this. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. But my husband left the house. He's staying with a woman who's fellowshipping in Charis. So uh, I'm betrayed. I feel like I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm betrayed very, 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 very bad. Can you hear that? 
liaikwa he says i'm married kinyechi and uh, i'm stay i was stay with my husband left the house kil nekitula le mulika na to ka monto and now my husband stay ana mulika na ka utula lady from charis le mutho mwa mwa mo charis the moment you hear something like that you could hear that au kwa taba ye utho mo kushisha a person like me i don't buy it especially because I'm very strict. Mtoso na lena eriki kala bakala ordi district ka kudu. That you can stay with a person. Ukasidule le mutu. I mean are they married? Manyala ne. No, no I don't think they are married. Uh, when did your husband left the house? Kene tatatsa male ka tonto. I think it's almost 3 3 weeks. Yes. And now the lady stays in the house. No, the, the husband is staying with the lady in his in in her house. In her house. Yes. And when you say now it's of charis, what are you telling me? You are, you are telling me that I'm not preaching well. <laughs> you, are, you are just telling me that. <laughs> You are not preaching well. I'm or our na kya re ra cho. Took my husband. Mutushu chere mulekanu wa. They are staying in the house. Badula kunto. No, that you are preaching the the word of God. Let so it's up to them. Let me ask you what do you want to do? Ye jwanon ke nge se unya ka ngo sitira. I need direction also God's opinion. If I just want the will of God to happen. If the will of God is for me to separate with this man, let it be in Jesus name. So you can hear she said she says it's a betrayal. She says this is betrayal. Kuekiwa. Stay with her. Uh, Utsamaila ya dula. I don't want to talk too much about But this is you know you just need pastor to sit down kenya goro muruti ya dule fast the wife is here the husband is here so le munasho why you got someone why when i want to see mutho mongwe and how did you know that how did you know when i would see lejwa ngore u ile u dula le mutho eh he called he my husband called uh, the nephew i want to stay with with the with the because kiri mutulo wa hai in susut mutulo wa hai So he, the Mutulwa Hai called me. He said, "My husband called him when he was with this lady." So and my the, husband called the nephew when he was with the sister and with he, the lady. He, he asked Mutulwa Hai, "Or are you going to tell me, Mr. Yamalu, me Baba Mpiana?" All right. Don't you want, want to, to speak you, with the uncle's well, wife? I want to tell you what is betrayal. You go which one you keep working? Can I tell you? Go tell us each. Eh? Amen. Can you do like this? You got here, come home. I do like this. Do it. Get it there. Amen. And then I say I'm taking my decision. That is not betrayal. You are not going to just pay to us who eki wa o. Betrayal is o eki wa she. You know I love you so much. Let's back your orata jo. Say amen. Amen. You are the only woman on the earth. Ki we na uliti ti fasi. Amen. And one day. Tachileli. I got someone. Ka sipila ga ga thula motho mongwe. Can you hear what is better? Ya koruwe ka kudian. Yes. Amen. So between you and your husband. Wa dalli na le molikane. It's not true. O bile lo be thana le ka mafeisi. Eh? Isin mafeisi ana mas mo. This thing is not there. Ai o taba yewe. Put your video. Aba dise face ngena. Eh. Eh? Ke o beta. Ara da se I'm tired of doing this. O mo ara ga le selari re betan. I'm tired. So Me, I go away and Naka go away. Is it betrayal? Yeah. Is it betrayal? I'm going away. I'm tired. Yeah. 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 Is it betrayal? Do you go away? Go away. Betrayal. Go away. 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 If you moruti apale asuye ka people you have been fighting for many years khalesela le lwa mengwa mchichi it's true it's true so if you are fighting for many years now you are tired you are no we now khatetse mulikano tsa it's not betrayal 
God loves you. He's going to fight for you. And God bless you. Amen. Let's hear Betraya. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I feel betrayed because uh, most of uh, my family members, especially those I helped, they hate me. Let's, let's, stop, let's stop there. That is a promotion. Now you can understand betrayal is promotion for you. So now when you try to speak with them, some of them, some of them they're no longer uh, talking to me. Forgive them and you move on. Mm. God is going to fight for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can I get another one? Yes. Uh, my father, I trusted him so much. So I found that he's the one that is against me and my sister and my mom. How do you trust him so much? And how did you find that? I'm the only daughter to him. So I'm, I'm, the only I'm the only daughter to him. So I loved him so much. Like we had that bond. That my, my mom. How? Can you sit down? We listen to this for a few minutes because I just want to bring this. I want you to understand what is betrayal. So, how did you find that? Okay, my father, like I'm married. I'm married. Okay, my father, like I'm married. He used to tell us that he doesn't want us to be married. So, so you, you marry? Yeah. I'm so married. then I got married. And now. So I found out uh, he's the one that is against my marriage. Even talk back. How did you find that? When he's with the family of my husband members. Oh, my sister, no. You didn't go somewhere, you get information. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Well, how did you find that? Okay, my father always that I'm not a woman, I mean a wife material. Like, he goes to the family of my husband, ne? then they t discuss that, like, I'm not capable for my husband, and it, we are not meant to be together. Are, are you capable? Yes, Cap I am capable. Capable, you mean where? Capable of lying. Well, you say you go to he goes and say you're not capable when you have got a husband your father there Papa say, father your father is in the west you have got a house in the east and your father goes to the east and say you're not capable Papa not capable Issue in the Lale. Mina Mama Zalomina Avan Lava. Napapa mean Abash Lava and Kukui, the Kanamna Nanomi. My father didn't want me to get married. Papa mean Namama Zalomin, Avanga Slaku Sangana. Mother in law and my father didn't want us to get married. So they make us show Kukuana Kolobashka, Kamina Nanomina. They make sure that we must fight me and my husband. So now look where I'm moving. I've got to examine. Blah blah blah. Negative. I mean, I go and finally I'm going to man and no man. And and finally I'm going to take a case. A case. Go yeah. Go. We are not so clear from our childhood. I've been looking at the other way. It seems like maybe there's a spiritual husband. Let's see. I look at what I am. Because look on me. Trace some magaleba. I know. I mean, I've got some case. I've got it. I mean, one by law. We're going to have no one. Like it's a family case. So one. But against this marriage. Go yeah. I mean, and to say go. Right. So, so what says your husband? So no now when I No no I mean I was going to raise a kui vagatle marasus. He's just praying that we'll be together. Marasus um move out. Says he now he went out Whom of the blaming? house. Whom are you blaming? I'm not blaming anyone. The only thing that I'm blaming is the devil. So, in other words, your father. Papa. 
and this other one mama zala le mama zala you are blaming them that they finish your marriage you blame them that they destroyed your marriage i don't think if my husband was praying and like if he was strong enough me and himself we will be separated or maybe he was he will be away now therefore you are also telling me that you have been betrayed by your husband both of them my our parents and my husband parents and husband so your character was it okay in your marriage yeah because like in lakumnyika approved yako ayir kahle endlela le we were good living together remember me don't say kunyikela la kerekene ni tsunduka lan ka teko ko na ko bana two room na rdp mina lo kon ka ntira la stene tele no foroma stina ku ku ta aki wa mali ya mina ku ngari ya no no me so because you always teach us about giving i tried to uh, buy bricks so that we can be able to build at home in my husband's place Let me stop you my sister. Erene ku yimesa ku mwana ku kwam. I want you to look at this. Anna ba ku timaka le to ti kamba kahle. I'm being offended. Ta ku twiswa ku baba. That you are offended. Ku wena utwe ku baba. And this devil is using it to stagnate you. Satan u tirisa timaka le ku wena u yima nda u yingu. Many people are offended they don't want to move on with their lives. Vano botala la bangatwa ku baba vana ku ya mahlweni na buto mzwa bona. Even when someone want to marry you you don't. Nilo ko muno nwana nga ta ku nila ku kuteka awa afumeli. Because you have got pain of the past. E maka ya ku ntwili le ku baba. And you don't want to repeat the same. And a ola be ku ku baba lo ku buya na kamba buto mzwa wena. When you are in Christ. He like he like Christ. So no swa khale swi hundzeni. The new things come. So lesi ntswa swi tele. Can you take all these things of the past? Take that makale takale uti lasa. And you forgive everyone. O re balela muno ingwa. Are you going to do that? Uta Scott. Ni le ko re engeten ka ku endla mara problem ya mine ku nkombo e 2 weeks back. No no I mean I win. Anga lo famba swa nkarwa le una ngweti ntsena. I was just shown my husband coming back but I was trying to forgive. I can't hear what she said. She said she was trying to put the issue behind but she dreamed her husband coming back to her. So therefore she can put it behind better. It means you can put the ngatekate makale to ti beka lenzako. Can you put this thing behind? Tekate makate uti uti hundzisa ufamba ka to. So you mean you can't move forward because you dream. Swi bula bula ko hi maka ya ku na u lorini unge swikoti ku ya mahlweni. Ni tisa ku loko shikomishize shin kombeta no no amina vuini. Sibe indlela le ne bone ka family abona gore na funeral so look just dreamed about a funeral so see we no lorango vuma you lorango vu sisi you know fambisa mi lorole take those dreams away and put them aside you forgive and forgive you hear me amen you forgive forgive god will open your understanding mo dimo tla bola ku shisho ya gao because of issues of marriage look here the makale ta ko take you like you man what tala ba ku fana na wena you were affected that your father me affect way makaya ku papa u mutwise ku baba your father and this mama zala papa na mama zala na reported in your marriage ah ba e ba no ba nkoka buto min zwa ngwina and now you were supposed to have built up your so sungwana mi fana ni ne ngwina mi titisi ni mi hanya kahle all right the husband left no nai fambisa to you me nanta ni jela ni ake mi rebalela muno inkwa i mean uh, let's live like that i don't think i would be able to answer it because amen that that na muloro muloro munga She will Amen. come with many Amen. dreams. Amen. And then I don't want to dream talk about dream. The last man please I want us to pray. Amen. Okay, let's give her a chance to talk, okay? La ko talk to Sapela. I'm still young in marriage. Loko mo ko ni move on, mo bula ko ni move on, ni re bala yena. Ko me mo la ko ni move on, ni re ba no ngo re balela, mara ni bana space xa ku ta wena. Cuz le swi swi vula vula, i ku loko no ku ni bone ku rena funeral ka bo. Ku vuye ku hetelela ku loko, ku la hliye, wa nda ka funeral ya. Swi swa mnana yena swi pfuleka ku vana mulata ku na bakiri na to fruits, aku hi leti blessings ta nwi. So anestesis ku loko 
nubonisa shosho kusitu kamba kasho ku inyimpi ya vukati maraita inza. So niba confused loko minzela ku ni move on. Niba rivale. Kuba rivale le kuba rivale le. Mara nila kutuisisa ku ni move on na ambana na yena. Oru mubla ku ni move on. Niba rivale la mara. Ni melanka ruashiko muku shitsa tla this marriage na. When you were saying I must move on, do you mean that I must forgive them of the past things? Yes. And now do I have to leave a space so that when my husband comes back, I'll be able to take him back? That's what she wants to she know. She must not think about the husband coming back. Or he's not coming back. She must think about a Christian. That's why I say she's offended. That's why I'm going to say she's offended. That's why I say she's offended. That's why I'm going to 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 say she's She'll take a life to God. And God will direct her. She must not think about this husband or not. God will speak in her heart that you need that she man or not. The wisdom from God will not be important. The wisdom from God is important. God bless you. The last one, please. Uh, uh, I've been betrayed at work. Betrayed where, at work? Where I'm working. That lady, I still want to meet her. That lady. After church, I must meet that lady. She really needs counseling, okay? Amen. 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 I began the enemy of everybody that work there. I'm fighting with everybody. Because they come to me, they talk too much about the bosses. And I end up talking then they take things that I've that I talked and take it and take everything. To where they were talking. Babula left a bachading at Angata Naka Fetchaki Fetuja, Haki Fetuja, and Machadi Bacachella, Titabachella, but he supported him. My brother, let's stop him there. I mean, in life, everything is a battle. Who belongs to look off like an intra? I want to encourage you. Never to tell it. When you are driving on the road, you are fighting. Our rail and limots, the limb one line. Oh, more not on your cotton apple, and how can you try? At your work. You can overcome better when you know who's fighting for you. Whoever is there, another one wants to use a charm to get to a higher position yourself. If you don't have Jesus, you are... I mean, they will do that. They will do that. But when you are Christian, you will go to betrayal. But when you are Christian, when you see that, you will serve God faithfully. Trust Him that He will take you forward. My brother, you don't need to. If I'm you, I won't leave that job. I'm not leaving. You don't need to search for any other job. You can find another 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 job. You can find are you hearing my brother? Amen. Yes, sir. So don't worry about what they are doing. Remember, I want to tell you something before we pray here. Some battles of betrayal are not coming from them. Are also coming from your home. When you were home there, you were attacked. There. So spirits are fighting you. So you enter the school. Everybody is you. I don't know if you're hearing me. So, if you stand your grounds with God, you are able to fight those spirits that are making these people around you to hate you. 
So sometimes you will blame these people. Na uteli ngoto sola bachu ba. This thing you are using. And into ishumisha. The one that is bringing problems. Yo na edishang matata manchi. So today let's overcome this. Na nle kho no ari tlholeng ma mimo ya. Let's overcome a spirit that brings hatred. Ari tlholeng mimo ya u tesa le tlhoyo. God bless you. Uti mo le shufa tshe. You know I just want one person who have been betrayed in business. Ku pela motho motho iti. In business. Just mo di khwebo. If you have been betrayed in business you will do business with someone If you kill your job to come business in Odia business le motho mongwe wa di alang wa se di ali because remember God told me that you people Upula. must do business Mudi mo ile mpotsa ka taba ya di business Um amen A thonya ga mo ga zwi business o to bo ndo ndo dzira phala ndi ko fanda ko kwa me ya nga zwi zwi ya khanne I'm touched by the things that happened to me Friday evening I was asleep. Somebody I wake with at about 10 past 1. I feel like God is telling me that I'm supposed to be sick. And in the ashdiba or if what would happen and about happen wake up and let us pray Ne ndi kosumbetsi wa ndi tshikho ba dabela but atina manda ori ndi kona u dabela tabelo ine ine wo nga u dabela iwo u khobona u tshikho dabela nga dzi So I saw you praying and you were praying in spirit Listen my sister were you dreaming Ne ba 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 ndi khoto vudzi wa nga mushumisane oto mfonela ne ndi rumunya Somebody I wake with called me ndaro ke ndi dzodabela and i just said no i will pray a dropa phone ndai vha fhasi i the person dropped the call yeah atingo atingo dabela zwo fonda kwa tamanda dabela i didn't wake up and start praying no tonda mela mphete ndali mudzimu ndi kale ndi khoda dabela ri medem u khobaisana bona ndi bona bana vadzu mufolisa i just said god you are the one who knows everything and i know you are the healer yeah nda 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 dzela mphete atingo fara khofe i didn't just sleep afa Ndikomanga daula mtu wa mfonela ndi ene anako gidima foti uko da rumunyanga makhazi makhazi vula vula uko chema mikosi yawe The same person who called me is the same person now who comes to my room asking me to open the door quickly Achi nda fwa vele nda mvulela achi vijana pala uko uko diposela a diposela pasi so The person just throw herself down Atomo atomo rabela achi rabela uri kandi muthu sedi rabela nda fwa mwene wanga Ndi sakhova na tabelo I felt in my spirit I couldn't pray Okay nda mbudhi to vhonda dzura ntambe ndi ndi I just sat on top of the bed ndi khumudza sa colleague ndi ndi ne zwa zwino iwe ta bela ne ndi dzota bela nga tshifinga You pray I will pray in my own time Yeah ene aba kho ta bela ne nda fandi sina ta bela nda to there nga rimbo I just went on praying and worshiping Were you dreaming Wa ba tshikolo ra Ndi wandisa kholo ra ndi muthu oto oda oto mfonela A person came called me first and then came to my room Eh alright Eh I was saying, because I didn't feel like I have to pray. How were you betrayed? How were you betrayed? The person called me and said that he was betrayed. The person called me. Atinga uvudzo uri ndi tabelisa hani ndi thoma ndi thondi thoma ndavudza mudzimu namusi ndi tshikhoimba ndi bandi kho thoma ngo muhulisa no muta enda ari ndi tshikhoda ikhoda ngo ari asi nenda nga tshedza muthu the person wanted me to pray in spirit to pray in spirit but i explained to him oh hey when i pray in spirit it's not a matter of just starting and praying i first by entering into the presence of the lord by worshiping and praising god then things will just happen on their own So now that's why ndi khole ombentsha ngo ri mini moreover ori hango ya mushumoni nende ya mushumoni aba akho mfonela uri makhadzi u khushuma hani nda thandi khushuma zwabudi I felt betrayed because I went to work the person didn't go to work he called me and work and say did you go to work ndi nda ndi khushuma zwabudi late ndo no chaisa ngabo past 7 ukho mfonela uri makhadzi ndo ri bwa badi zwinenda khoto da khai wende sori nende the rumuni ya for 3 days So I, I felt betrayed because now the person is saying I have to be in your room for three days. I thank were God. You, were you dreaming? Much color. Much color. Is something that is happening physically. Hmm. Ono kunyango dadumi anga for three days. Ndi mo gudi se tabelo azi thanks ingori. Eneva zimuva uba kumusumbeza. 
He said he want to come or he she want to come and stay with me in my room for three days because he want to learn the prayer of praying in spirit. Okay. So I told the person to today I'm coming to church so let's go together to church tomorrow. So he said sometimes he get mixed up or she get mixed up, she couldn't come to so, church. He was telling, she was telling uh, me in a uh, dream. The, the, the person was saying, was saying she was not dreaming. Mm. She said, I'm going to go to church. I was trying to help the person to say, come to church. You'll be helped. He doesn't want to come to church. He said he. Madeko, oba ote oda. Ti ombo zasoni tete daisi. Hango oda madeko. Oda ngala kuta nufezi. Morobang oda. Zuinonda zubono. Zumbolo lamtu tamse oba kuto mbetre angande. Maybe there was something he was. She was searching for, or something the person wanted to do. It's not that someone don't drop under fast kung kwa mori. So I just felt the issue touching me. What is she talking about, Mama? Can you interpret? No, I believe she's take, speaking about someone they do work together and their bosses at work, they are not fine. I want to tell but you why I'm asking her several times, are you dreaming? Oh, the person persists that they have to Were pray for their bosses. This lady, God always reveals things to her. The person is the one that was coming telling me things. God didn't show me the things but he or always, she was speaking about. God things to yes, but but to 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 now, she, she was sure that, but this one didn't come by any vision or what. She's suspecting. But God always revealed that to her. But now, what God didn't reveal to her. Now it's beginning to happen live now. Someone is coming to say, hey. And God is showing you, can you see this person? Can you see this person? And as if she starts to be afraid. And as if she starts to be afraid. she has been receiving dreams from And God wants to bring her to where she can see And God wants to bring her to where she can see now. When it's happening in her life. So she must understand that all the dreams that God was dreaming were coming to pass. Why is she doubting this one? Why is she doubting this one? This was physical coming. Oh, three days I will pray with you. Oh, you dream me, no. But you know your dreams come to pass, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You dream things, they happen. Mm. Now somebody here wants to make you crazy now. Don't attack. 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 Don't and I don't believe in so such things. So we know that you will overcome this attack. Sometimes when you get friends like that, you delete them. When you delete them, you delete them. You delete them. I don't know other thing is what, but deleting is better. Amen. Delete and no block as a queen. Amen. Another thing is what? Block. You you block them. You delete them and block them. Amen. I delete them. I block. And God will bless you. Unse matu ba fatu chets. Many of you, when she was speaking, I was just saying, this is what I wanted you to find out. Because yeah, these are the people you work with. These are the people, the people you betray you. Are are the people you betray you. 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 Are the God is searching for them. God will change them. Let, Let us all stay. stand. Let us all stand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit that is hidden. Any spirit that is hidden. 
that is coming to attack my life. That is coming to attack my life. I expose it today. I expose it today. Can you just expose it in the name of Jesus? Amen. Expose that spirit. Pray that prayer with power. Pray that prayer with power. Expose that spirit. Expose that spirit. Expose that spirit. Expose the spirit. Expose it. Is there to destroy your family? Is there to destroy your position? Expose that spirit. I can hear you pray more, more, more than that. In Jesus' name. Listen to this. Uh, like I told you that there will be betrayal. Some people will find chance to penetrate you. You don't know. And then if you don't know that there's a spirit behind them to remove you from Christ, to attack you, you won't know. When you pray this prayer, pray with power. Can you pray for God to give you a discerning spirit? Prayer. To reveal these people to you. Holy Spirit, give me a discerning spirit. To give me information about your people. Reveal them to me. Reveal them to me. Your people. Reveal them to me. Reveal your people to me. Carry on. Some people must be revealed to you. Pray that prayer with all your power. Holy Spirit, reveal them to me. Give me a discerning spirit, a, a spirit to discern in my work, in my business, in my church. Reveal that to me. Reveal. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. A gift of discerning spirit is very good for all Christians. Because in your work, there are some people you are not supposed to associate with. In doing business, business, even in partnering in business, marriage, many times we make wrong decisions. We end up finding ourselves with wrong people. I mean, what is the reasons why people separate, separate, separate like what my sister is saying there? Is because of not discerning. We need a gift of discerning, so that when someone comes and says, I want to do business with you, you know. I want to do business with you, you know. Uh, this gift, I've, my wife is having this gift of discerning. She will tell me that this person, I'm not happy about this person. So, Mama, God has not revealed that to me. She says, no, that person, no. You don't need to be close to this person. But I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I mean, I want to hear from God. So, that gift works well when you're obedient to God. Just be ready of loving everyone. You'll feel the people around you. Amen. I just want you to pray again this prayer. God, give me a gift of discerning spirit. Prayer. 
Give me a gift of destiny spirit. Give me a gift of destiny. Oh Jesus. Give me a gift of destiny. In the name of Jesus, give me a gift of destiny. Help me to have a gift of destiny. Pray louder, pray louder. Give me a gift of destiny. Some of you, as you are praying, God he will show you something. God will show you something. God will direct you. This year, you need a gift of discerning. A gift of discerning, my God. It's working on me now. Discerning now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Listen to this, especially us pastors. We need that gift because let's take about. We need to have worshippers. You Christians also, you pray with people, prayer partners. Sometimes you want to go to pray to the bush with some people you don't know. One time I went to the bush with one great man of God in the bush when I was going to pray. When we were there, when I was praying, I'm sure something happened, he slept. When he slept there, something big like a demon came was pushing him, was like a dead person. And I was asking God, why this man, we had the distant each other like that. Why is not seeing this spirit? And I was told that day, he doesn't have a discerning gift. Because when you've got a discerning gift, when something comes, you begin to discern that, no, 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 something here. Something is wrong here. Are you hearing me? You begin to hear and then now himself, when that demon came, it makes him to sleep at the distance. That's why some of you, when you are sleeping like this, because you don't have that, that, that gift, you know, the spirit will press you before it enters the house. It will press you before it and From there, you just say, oh, you want to wake up. Some of you, you want to say in Jesus, you say, because you are, you are tempering with wrong people around you. There are people around you who have entered your second and you have agreed. And you communicate with them. Can't you? They are affecting your gift of discerning. Now, if you truly, you are a child of God, before those things enter there, you will wake up. You feel you have to wake up. Like myself yesterday, I felt I can't sleep. I try. By all means, I took a pill, I put it here. It didn't come. I said, no, let me go and pray. Because I knew that even if I'm not seeing that in the spirit, I might be fighting somewhere in the spirit. I don't know if you're hearing me. So listen to this. Listen to this. You need this gift this year of destiny in business, in your position, in applying for a job, in whatever, in friends around you. Because many people have been killed by friends, killed by people around them. And listen, I want to tell you, I'm sorry when we had many relationships issues here, including my sister, but we don't need to pray for what is not from God. We do not need to pray for what is not from God. If it's not from God, let's leave it that way. If it's from God, let's leave it that way. Let's allow God to judge. Amen. I said, let's allow God to do it, to judge. But we must not compromise 
with our gift of what? Of discerning. Our gift of is very, very important. There are some people here, like I was here on that group there. I was discerning a brother there who's failing to go to the toilet. I'm standing here. I have to. Discerning is a feeling in the spirit. Feeling in the spirit. That side there. Brother, can you come? I'm hearing that there's issues of you fail to go to the toilet, even to, to urinate. It's difficult. There's a brother that side there. That if I can go there, maybe I can find him. So if you are there, come here. I will pray for you. Because you, what, what is it that doctor will be saying? Tomorrow they will say, this is whatever. This is whatever. So this thing, by me speaking with you, I believe God is releasing you. That side there. That brother, I'm pointing there. They are not even see brother there. That side there. You are failing to go to the toilet now. What are they going to say? Very soon they will say it's cancer. You, you can't even urinate well now, but you're going to go to the toilet. And, then, and I want to pray for you. Come out from that side. It's coming from that side. So, you can't go to the toilet. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Tell me about when you urinate. What is happening? Do you feel very hot? Yeah, it's hot. You feel very hot. So fear nothing. There's no cancer on you. I want cancer more. No cancer on you. I want cancer more. You know, one of the problems you are spending time sitting. Huh? You spend time sitting like this. Huh? Mm. Yeah, you? yeah, yes, I, I, I spend, I spend some in the toilet. Driving. Driving, yes. Yeah? Mm. And now you are beginning to affect here. So God loves you, you are free today. Mm. So loves you, you are free today. Mm. Yeah. 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 The way we are working will work like that. They say, there's a sister there, but we'll carry on praying. That's the sister Sikwale. that I'm pointing at. Who's wearing, I don't know whether it's pink or what. Sesia Perin Trey Pink. I want to pray for that sister. You've, you've passed the lady. I don't know if it's pink or yellow, because I don't know colors. You're standing in front of the lady. Is it pink, that one? Pink to me is this one, like yellow. Behind here, where there's blessing. What kind of color is that, Mama? It's pink. Huh? It's pink. It's pink. It's not pink. It is. Oh. So why are you? What about that other one? What color of color is that one? They are both pink, but in different shades. That one is baby pink. My sister, I want to pray for you. Uh, my sister of pink color. I want to pray She's for you. She's in the apparent pink. Can you forget what happened to you in the past? Because devil has really affected you in relationship. relationship. Forgive everyone so that God will bless you. Now. Because I heard that you have been hurt by many people. Many people you were involved with you used to help them. But you have been betrayed several times. But God is healing your heart today. Don't even talk about those people of the past. God is going to bless you. I pray for you, my sister. As I stretch my hand to you, receive that healing. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to speak with someone here. Who's going to have this many, many cars? They are coming, this brother. This one. God wants to bless you. Everybody in your family will be very small. Amen. And many people will depend on you. Amen. Though they are not understanding you now. Because I'm hearing people blaming your, your partner. Yes. Huh? Yes, he's here. So my wife and I, we are the only one that knows the light in our families. So as a result of that, they don't understand what we are doing. So we have decided to distance ourselves with them. Now they are fighting with us. 
I know they will fight you because, you know, they expect a lot from you. But they are blaming your wife. Yes, they were expecting that before I was married, because I'm the first one to get married and to get a job. They were expecting me to support them. But the moment I get married, I started with my wife. I'm seeing God lifting you, my brother. I'm Amen. seeing God lifting you. Amen. He will bless you with things that are not there in your family. Amen. Amen. I'm just seeing you cast, cast, cast properties. Bro. They are coming your way. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. When you go back, I didn't want to speak many things with you. Go and cut all your friends. Yes, yes, men of God. Go and cut all your friends. Yes, men of God. Because uh, your friends are very dangerous. So they will mislead you and you find yourself dead one day. You won't rise up in the morning. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. Yeah. Because you are very young to put something white here. Yes, yes, man, of of course. Course. Something you put in the nose here. Yes. So, uh, I know I didn't want to say more than that, but I, I know God is going to help you. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. You know, when I met you, I just say, Andres must pray for you to accept Jesus. Yes. But this thing that you are putting here can make you to sleep and not wake up one day. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. So, you cut all your friends. Can you say the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Can you say the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Maybe when we I say the name of Jesus, maybe we need to pray for your son. Uh, your son, the smaller boy. We need to pray for him. Amen. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Let's pray for him. Amen. Amen. Because whatever that people are trying to do to this boy, mm must never happen to you. It must never work. Amen. I'm stopping it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm stopping this thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because even yourself, you are beginning to have questions of why this boy is behaving like this. Yes, it's worrying me, Dad. Huh? It's worrying me. Because of the stories this boy is hearing now. Yes. Let's crush this thing in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you that God, God is touching that boy. That boy will be a prophet. Amen. Amen. I'm sure nobody has ever told you that. No. I'm telling you now. Amen. Sit down with that boy and ask, what are you seeing? Amen. You have never asked that kind of a question? No, not. Eh? Not. Where is the boy? He's at home. At home? Yes. So they will try and do this, try to, I mean, whatever they will try, but it will never work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They are sending this boy somewhere, thinking it will be your trouble. But I don't want to talk more than that. Amen. So this boy is free right now. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I saw what happened to my brother here. Yes, I was asking myself, if this thing carried on happen, this, this one, lift up your hands, my brother. Yes, I saw what happened to you. You know, just pray for the whole family. You hear me? Amen. The brother is there at the back there. Pray for the whole family. Amen. You understand? Amen. And then forgive your father. Amen. Are you going to forgive your father? Yes, I did. Eh? Yes, I did. So forgive your father because you, you won't walk the road of your father. Amen. So just forgive your father and forget. No, I did, sir. And then the issue of you have been groomed by one person, it must not enter your mind. If you forgive, Amen. you will see what God will make you the head of the family. Amen. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because he's lifting you, he wants to use you. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. Where you are working, my sister, don't trust all these people. You understand? Others are not happy. Yes, that's true. Uh, they, are, they are not happy. Why? How did you enter here? And now you become so much connected now. There. Yes, especially the producer. We, we don't see eye to eye. Yeah, because you know why? Because they are talking something. Yes. There's something that people are talking. You will hear it soon. 
Yes. You hear me? So don't even worry. Amen. It's God who put you there. Amen. No one will remove you in Jesus. Name. Amen. Uh, you know, I will just say this. And let me see someone be expelled there. <laughs> let me see someone be expelled in Amen. Jesus. Let me see. She, she knows what I'm talking about, but this person will be expelled in Jesus. Name. Amen. I say it will be expelled in Jesus' name. And you stay there. You stay there. You stay there in Jesus' mighty name. I know. I know that if she will stay there, she will help many people here who have got a gift here. There are some people here that she's going to help there who have got a gift there. So tomorrow you will hear that Charis is a church of of, you know, of celebrity. Can this from this lady here? This lady here. So, she's looking at them, what they are doing. And in her heart, she's thinking about some people. God bless you, sister. This week, I mean, you are coming to church for the first time for many years. Some of you came back with demons. Because these demons are coming from Amaliboho, Madumbi, Javenda, eh, Giani, everywhere. So these demons are living in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. These demons from Kwazulu Natal, mm. Rustenbeck, Mafike, Amen. they are living in the name of Jesus. Amen. This demon from Tando, mm. you people have got demons. You people from Tando have got demons. Amen. Demons of pride is leaving you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This demon that is stealing from you and stagnates you. Amen. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Some of you are trying to do business. You are trying to do this. Nothing is working. But brother, are you hearing me? You? Yes. I saw a demon that is stealing from you. Huh? You. You. Sometimes when you get money, you don't know what you have done with it. And, and people are looking at you like you've got money. It's true. Eh? It's true, Papa. Uh, uh, sometimes you, you, you don't have money. I don't have. You don't have money. And uh, yes. God wants to bless you. I receive. And it's going to bless you in the name of Jesus. I receive, Papa. If you are here, receive what you are here for. Receive, receive. what you are here for. Let me hear what you are receiving. Let me hear what you are receiving. Say it out. Say it out. Say it out. What are you receiving? What are you receiving? What are you receiving? What are you receiving? Say it out. I can't hear you. I'm giving you this week. You must receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. There's a brother that is here that I'm looking at him. Is that brother there? Yes, come. Yes. Come here. Someone lied to you. Okay. Someone then. lied to you. Okay. You understand? Yes. Uh, and now you're confused. About the issue of calling, calling. Yes, I'm confused uh, today. Yes, true. Uh, someone lied to you. And it confuses you more now. Yes. You wanted to go for business. Yes. Uh? Yes, daddy. And then now you end up says, okay, let me leave this and concentrate. But still your mind here is on business. Yes. Uh? There is a lot of dreams that I have. So I become confused worse now. So listen to this. Someone lied to you. Yes. Uh, I'll give can, you can come to me. I'll guide you what you can do. Okay, did you hear me? Yes. Uh, because right now you don't know. Yes, I don't know. You don't know what to do. Yes. And then uh, be careful that you don't betray people. Okay, did you understand? Okay. Uh, because I saw a lady that was okay. betrayed. Okay, did he? So be careful. Okay. You understand? Yes. So when she come to you, comfort these people who are coming to you. Yes, they're coming. So m uh, many people, they're coming to me. Encourage them. Okay, did you understand? Yes. And uh, don't call yourself men of God now. 
Okay. Just encourage everyone who come your way. Okay, did you? you understand? Yes. And God will speak with you. Okay. Let me see you after church. I will try to help you. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Yes. That boy that I was speaking with, do you know a person called Kolani? Yes, man of God. He's my brother. My, my... Kolani. Yes. Please, uh, you must call Kolani when you're here. You must call Kolani after church. Yes, man of God. Uh, because what you are going through, Kolani is going through. We don't want him uh, to have problems. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. Yes. They say, that brother there, I don't know what happened to him, but I will tell you. Yes. Run to me, brother. In fact, in fact, I'm trying to say they are prophets. Uh, when, so that when Andres prophesy you people here, you believe. When Mama prophesy you believe. When my, are you hearing me? Yeah. I, I'm trying to prophesy. I, I'm trying. Let me, let me try to prophesy you. Ne? Can I try to prophesy? Yes, Dad. Eh? Yes, Dad. Uh, you must, you must try to stay home. Okay. You must try to stay home this week. Okay. You hear me? Yes, Dad. Uh, these people are coming to you. Let's do this. Let's do that. Don't do that with them. Thank you, Dad. You hear me? Yes. Eh? Yes. I'm trying to prophesy, speaking in parable. Yes. Stay home. Yes. Uh, because they want to mislead you. Okay. You understand? Thank you, Dad. Uh, I've seen people coming to you. They can take you away from God. Okay. And you uh, know what you want from God. I so somebody must not come and say, let's go and pray. Hey, let's go and pray. Let's go. This thing is happening to you. Now it's confusing you more. Yes. So remove these people. Stay home. Yes, Dad. Pray. Pray hope. Are you hearing me? Yes. And it's then go will speak with you. Go, Thank God you bless you. Me. You can go back there. Especially this week. If you do that, if you do that, yes. you will know you don't have a friend. <sighs> Thank you. You hear what I'm saying? I, I you know understand. what I'm talking about. I know. Uh, you will know that you don't have a friend. I'm telling you, go, go back. God bless you. Thank you. Now I'm just trying to the issue of death is not there. What has happened to this lady? I'm seeing spirit of death somewhere there. The lady behind. What is death written on your face? I can't see your face there. Who's this lady? It's me, Daddy. All right, okay. You can go back. You can go back. God bless you. Where's your sister? Uh, she's at home. I was with her during the week. All right. I can go. When you're at the distance, I can't see you clear. Uh, let's pray. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Daddy. But it seems as if it's about to happen. So, let's say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You, spirit of death, you, spirit of death. Can you cast that spirit out of a family? Can you pray, please? Can you pray? I can't see you pray. In Jesus' name. Please, my sister, come again. Please. This thing must not happen. Amen. You hear me? Amen. This thing will really devastate you. This thing must not happen. Yes, sir. If it happens, you won't have children. Because you are thinking something about the issue of children. If it happens, this thing won't, it will really devastate you. Can you just point at that lady and say, you spirit of death, I command you to leave a family. Pray, 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 pray. Please pray. This thing must not happen. This thing must not happen. Mama? This thing must not happen. As you are praying for her, you are praying for yourself. In 
name, Jesus' name. Hey, me, I cannot just speak these things. If you hear me say this thing like this, it's like I'm standing here, we are in the funeral. This thing must not happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, this thing must not happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This thing must not happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't want funeral again in charity. In Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, okay, you I know your sister is sick. Let's let's not talk this to your sister. Let's say this will never happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You won't bury anybody in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm worried because I was supposed to have called you because I know your sister is sick. I said, I said this thing must not happen. My sister, how is your sister now? Now she said what is paining is uh, her toes, left and right, only so, one one. So please, you must enjoy your life, don't have fear. Okay, daddy. You understand? Yes, this daddy. thing that is coming to your mind, of thinking too much, remove it. Amen. Are you hearing my sister? Yes, daddy. So, so we have prayed, whatever happens is the will of God. Amen. But this thing must not happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you begin to lift up your hands and thank God for the miracles that are coming your way? Clapping your hands, thanking Him. There are miracles. In Jesus' mighty name. Many of you here, I have to be honest. If I call a pastor here, let me call this man is a prophet. Prophet sense what is happening. I'm sensing the same. How are you sensing here? Yes, Daddy. The word that we have given today, it is true, Daddy. With regard to what you have said in terms of uh, betrayals and God fighting for us. Okay. You know what I want you to, to be honest with you? Satan, by the time of lockdown, he has attacked many Christians. Amen. Yeah. And then many of them now here because of what is happening to them. Asking what will happen to them. Demons have entered them. And then this message of betrayal is what a last weapon that devil will be using Amen. against you. So what are you sensing? I am sensing a... Uh, I would just say to the children of God, be strong and courageous. Thank you. I'm, I'm sensing the same. I'm sensing that you're going to be very strong. And your strength and courage will bring forth what results. Congratulations. God bless you. But I believe, because we are the teachers of the word, I believe God must start with us. Many people here are pregnant. Others are coming. I was seeing my daughter there. Come. Even this one there. Is that a little somebody pregnant? I can say, Uri. Udira like, make up a severeka or Udira like. You're pregnant now. Steady. Yes. Second child. Yes. So you can see. Uh, second child. Others will bring triple children here. Yeah. So keep call me one effect. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Tati. Pomopa, my twins, my twins are mean, my twins are mean, my twins are mean. What are these twins for? Why are you giving me a twins? So are they twins? Yeah! Hey, yeah. Fine, yes. You are never twins, Pomopa. It's twins, what did you do? Pomopa, Pomopa. What I want to say is, even you, God is about to bless you. Amen. Can you see uh, how God works? You just point a person. You talk about twins, and the person say, the one say, hey, give my twins. Why am I feeling my twins? I mean, it's not a man. It's God. It's Jesus. He's about to bless you. Can I, can I get only five people uh, 
who want, because I'm seeing this one coming and uh, coming to me like this, I don't trust that. I don't trust it because it's Jesus who gives twins or children. Let me get two people here who want to be pregnant here. No. Two people here. Oh, we know you're pregnant already. Uh, you, you are also pregnant already. And uh, another one, you are pregnant. You, but I don't understand you. Where is your husband? He's at work. You must come with him here. Okay. Huh? Yes, I will. How many children do you have? I don't have. Uh, you must come with him because you blame, you blame yourself. Yes, I do. Huh? Yes, I do. And you stop blaming yourself. Let's trust that if he comes here, uh, you people, when we pray for you, you will, you'll be pregnant. Amen. You can go by your... I'll meet you next week with your husband. Okay, man of God. Thank you. How long are you searching for a baby? We got married in 20... How long? Three years now. Because I don't want you to tell me that we got married when, when, when. People must not know your history here. You understand? Because some people will follow you in church to attack you. Amen. I want to say God is going to touch your husband and touch you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. You're already pregnant, Mama. You're already pregnant. You can go back. I've prayed for you. Uh, another one. I'm not talking about people I've prayed for here. Yeah. Can I get the person I've never prayed for want a child here? Yeah. Okay. You are, are you enough? You are enough with children. Let me get another. So let me see. You want a child? Huh? Stop there. Are you married? Yes. Maybe, maybe you can remove that. You won't get corona. This, uh, are you married? Yes. How did you marry? Traditional. Traditional? Yes. They pay lobola? Yes. Where's your husband? Home. Okay. I'll pray for you next week. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I'm not sure about Because when you come here, I don't feel praying for you. Okay. But I'll pray for you next week. God bless you. Okay. I'll call you next week. Let me get another one who wants to be prayed for for a child, not this lady. Yes, that one who's running here, come, even this two. You, my sister, stop there. Where's your husband? Eh? He's in Deppen. Eh? He's in Deppen. Yeah, you must stop this thing of, you know, suspicion won't help you. You hear me, sister? Yes. This issue of suspecting, what is he doing, whatever, whatever, you end up get certain will end up informing you wrong things. Yes. Uh, because that's what you are doing. You, yes, f love is having jealousy. You understand? When you love a person, you have got jealousy. You protect. Yes. Uh, so you you have a child. Touch your stomach. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. I remove this thing that has blocked your womb. In Jesus' name. Let me get another one there. You yes, want a daddy. child? Yes, dear. Are you married? Yeah. You're Lafasi. I don't feel pray for you. <laughs> I'll pray for you next week. Let me get another one. God bless you. Can you touch your stomach? Receive a baby. You, you can receive a baby in Jesus' name. Where is your husband? Eh? He's at, oh, at home. How long you were searching for a child? Over a year now. So you married over a year? Yes. Ah. Touch here, there's a pain here. Yeah. I stop this pain in Jesus' name. Amen. Ouch! In the name of Jesus Christ. Ouch! In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Leave her down there. You are free. Amen. If you want a child over a year, you must wait one year. I went a one year. So God bless you. You will have a baby. 